Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big Big B, and we back for another edition of Big Big Business. Listen, man, if you tuned into this channel, then you are obviously here for a reason. One, because you like my face, or two, because you're trying to pick up some of this awesome fragrance goodness, okay? Listen, man, I often get questions from people out there like, yo, B, I've tuned into your channel, and I'm just starting. What should I do? Insert exhibit A. All right, so I'll try to put a screenshot here of a recent message that I got. Now, obviously, this guy, he talked about being in his 50s, but I get questions about this all the time. So what I figured I'd do is give you five fragrances, or at least five types of fragrances you need in your collection. Now this will work for beginners, or if you are a seasoned vet and looking to downsize, you know, because I know a lot of you got massive collections, and maybe you need to downsize a bit, and trying to understand what you need to keep, this video may help. So now that you know what we're doing, say it with me. Let's get down to big beard business. Now I think the first fragrance any guy needs out there is probably a beater fragrance. Yes, a beater fragrance. This is a fragrance that you are going to beat into the dirt. <laughs> Therefore, this thing is a beater fragrance. Listen, if you are just starting out, you're not likely to spend hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars on a fragrance. You're really looking to get a point of entry and oftentimes a low cost fragrance is definitely going to help you out along the way. Now there are a number of fragrances out there that will do this but one of the ones that I recommend just happens to be one of my favorite fragrances and a lifer for me and this one is Burberry Touch. Now Burberry Touch is just one of the many fragrances that you can utilize to do this and be a beater fragrance. Some of the other ones out there I will go this one before I go to those. This one is this woody musky aromatic fragrance but some other fragrances that you may have heard of that could be good beater fragrances are things like Sean John 3 AM. You also have uh, Nautica Voyage. These these are all fragrances that are low cost of entry, you're looking 20, 25, maybe 30 bucks top. And then outside of that, you can pretty much spray these things on whenever. You can waste a few sprays to walk down to the mailbox, wait, whatever the case may be, you can throw this thing on pretty much anytime. You can waste it on undergarments. It doesn't matter because it's so low in terms of cost, but it also smells good. So a beater fragrance is a good way to start if you're looking to build your collection and looking to figure out what you need to have. Now, even if your collection grows, beater fragrances have their own place. Again, I've given you a few places that you could wear a beater fragrance, but that's definitely a place to start out. Now, on the opposite scale of a beater fragrance, you're going to have a heater fragrance, okay? In most cases, this would be your holy grail if you were into shoes, you know, this would be your Magna Carta holy grail, okay? Or outside of that, a few things to keep in mind when it comes to those heater fragrances, all right? Those are things that are going to be a bit rare to find, a little bit more exclusive, and they tend to have a higher price point. One that immediately comes to mind for me is Baccarat Rouge 540. There is some hype around this fragrance. It's a bit more difficult to find if you're going out and about in stores. You really got to be in a tier one or a high performance tier two market to pick this thing up in a store, or you can find it online. But if you're picking this thing up in retail, it's going to be expensive. Outside of that, you're going to have things that may have been discontinued and were gems i.e. here Tom Ford Reeves the Ombre. So you guys have heard of me talk about this one on the channel before and recently I was able to pick up a bigger bottle. Listen, um, my guy Quality Fragrances hit me up like, yo B, I know you're looking for this thing. Where it is, they boom, click purchase buy. It is here now. So this thing here is a heater because one, it's exclusive. Okay, it's discontinued, so it's a little bit more difficult to find. It's not a cheap fragrance, and it smells amazing. So that could be someone's Magna Carta Holy Grail. Just a fragrance to check out there. Those are two, but again, there are a number of other fragrances that could fit into your heater category. Now, like your beater fragrances, this next fragrance can be used on a daily basis. And depending on your personality and style type, what you choose to use in this category really just depends on, again, how your personality is. This category is basically your signature scent, okay? Yes, the signature scent, and I know a lot of us in Fragcom do not have signature scents because we like to explore. However, if you're just like, look, V, I need to find something, you know, I need 10, 15 fragrances, nothing more than that 
that. This is what I want to be known for. This is pretty much what you're going to put in your category. This one here is Tom Ford's Great Vetiver. Now, Great Vetiver is an amazing scent. You're made by the master of seduction himself, Tom Forty Ford. But there are a number of other fragrances out there that really fit this well. So, obviously, you have Tom Ford Great Vetiver. You have Dior Sauvage, either one of those fragrances, EDT, EDP, or the Parfum version, Bleu de Chanel. Same setup there is going to work EDP, EDT, or the Parfum version. Those will all work, okay? Um, some other ones, depending on where your pockets range, some other ones that you might look at as a nice daily wear signature scent, uh, things like Creed Aventis, uh, Middlesex Imperial, or you know other ones out there as well. So, a um, fragrance that I think you can wear daily, good performance, one that um, people don't always wear, at least they can recognize when you're stepping in the room, um, these fragrances will definitely work. So Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, definitely on the list as a top tier signature scent that I think you can get away with, and obviously the others that I mentioned as well. Now listen, signature scents can really be whatever you want them to be, all right? So if you like that skanky scents, then make that your signature scent. Whatever's going to best suit you, your personality and style, um, it should be a signature scent if you are looking for a signature scent. But this is just a good recommendation if you're looking to play it safe, Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Now another scent type that I recommend guys pick up are going to be Fragrances that are a little bit different than the signature, your heater and your beaters. These fragrances are really made for those active days, okay? So sporty fragrances can definitely play a huge role in your fragrance arsenal as it comes to those things. Now, you don't have to be an active guy to wear a sporty fragrance. In my personal opinion, it depends on what you're doing that day, right? If you're gonna kick it out on South Beach, you know, your man boobs all out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, you can still rock a sporty fragrance. Or if you're a super athletic guy, you're chilling on Muscle Beach, then you can still do that as well. Or if you're just kicking it around the neighborhood, playing a little ball with your kids, man, a sporty fragrance definitely is going to help. And one of the fragrances that I often recommend for that is going to be Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Now, as the name says, this one is sporty. To me, this one is an amazing smelling fragrance, but there are a lot of other ones out there that can still have that nice, mature type of feel without being too juvenile. There's nothing that's going to be like an Invictus Aqua. You can get away with this one. Or you can do like a Chanel a little own sport, a Dior own sport. Um, those fragrances have that sporty type of mature vibe with them. Um, another one that you could do, in my personal opinion, that I often recommend is a YSL Altine. That is a, an amazing scent, in my personal opinion. But these fragrances really have a different type of vibe. They're not like you could use these for signature scents if you love them, right? But I think that these fragrances really perform well in that warmer weather as your body begins to heat up. These things really still last along with you and I recommend them for those type of occasions. And I think every man has a place for it, whether or not you're super active or you know, you're just like walking around your neighborhood. Doesn't matter, all right? Sporty fragrances have a place. It should be in your top five fragrances of picking up. And finally, they say that every man should have a well-tailored black suit. And to that point, every man should have a nice formal fragrance. And one of the ones that I recommend for that is going to be Creed's Royal Oud. And the name says it all. This one is for those who need to feel royal-esque, okay? Um, Royal Oud is a nice Oud fragrance and it doesn't have that super pungent, overpowered, boom, punch in the face type of feel that you get with a lot of Oud fragrances. This one is classic, it's classy, and it smells great. Now, I know what you're thinking, yo, B, I'm not into Oud fragrances, and that's fine. I get it. You can wear whatever you want on this. Another fragrance that you can wear for dressing up is going to be um, Enwash Reflection Man. I've talked about that one early on in the channel. I'll be sure to bring you guys some Enwash fragrances as well because you guys have been asking for them and I've kind of been neglecting it, but I will do so. But there are a lot of other fragrances out there that really fit that classic type of feel and classy type of feel, which is going to be more for your formal wear. So I know you don't always have a need for that, but you should have something within your arsenal that you can boom, pull out really quick. Doesn't matter if you're having a friend that's getting married, something like that, and you need, just need to dress up for a, a special date or something like that, man, you can go ahead and pull out your formal fragrance and get the job done. Now those are just five fragrances that you can add to your collection in terms of type. And there are a bunch more out there. All right, but those are those are five. All right, that's your starting five. You had a basketball team, boom, this is what you're going with, okay? And you know, I know what you're thinking like, yo, B, where's the seductive? Where's the one for the ladies? All right, 
You can really put a seductive fragrance in any of these categories. Wear what you want, when you want, my personal opinion. Listen, I can definitely bring you more if you like this list or like other videos of this nature. Be sure to share this with the people, man, all right? We need to grow this channel, make it big! Add to the gang gang, all right? <laughs> Listen, as always, I'm your boy, Big B, B, and hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn.